Hi guys, I'm Mr. Matt. Uh, welcome to Everybody Arts. I just wanted to do a really quick video today uh, because uh, Emma did something really cool yesterday and it was um, she wanted to make a painting of uh, Pusheen and it was this and she already did the pink background and she said oh I want to make a perfect copy of this and I'm not sure how to do it. Hey Richard I'm just making some copies. The Tomster! Tom man! Tom Tom! The Tomster making copies! I said I think I can do that. And I, I, she's like, you got to trace it onto the uh, canvas after she painted the pink on here. She did a really pretty pink. Um, she wanted to make a perfect copy of this picture and she didn't know how to trace it. She wanted to trace it because it's opaque, meaning you can't see through it exactly. So she said, how are you going to do that? And I said, well, I'm going to print out a picture, the right size for this. And I did. And I said, yeah, that's it. She's like, that's good size. And I said, okay, what, we're, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to put it on the window and I'm going to move the canvas out of the way. And you can see, she's like, what are you doing? And I scribbled along the edges. I held it up along the window so I could see the outline of the actual picture. You can take uh, your pencil, any pencil, and uh, go over. You can go over the whole back of it if you want to, if it's a really complex picture, or if you want to, you can hold it up over the window so that you can see through it and see the lines that you want to trace onto your canvas. And I scribbled furiously over the entire, um, any area that I wanted to copy or trace onto um, the canvas. But what I'm doing is I'm putting graphite from the pencil um, onto the back of the picture. And when I flip this over, I'm going to put it on. We'll pretend this is a new canvas, okay? I'm going to put this down. And then I'm going to trace over the top of this and I'm going to press down sort of hard, but not real hard. I took a pen that I didn't click out the... the um, the pen tip to. I just left it like this. So it was a broader surface. And I went like this and I pushed down just on the edge of the barrel here uh, along the lines. And what's going to happen is I'm going to push down the graphite and it's going to leave marks wherever I push down. It's transferring the graphite onto the page. And um, then you'll have a perfect copy of whatever it is that you want to have on your canvas or your opaque surface. Let me see. There should have been enough graphite. Yep. There you go. There's just Pusheen's face eating ice cream. Na, 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 na. And we did that on here. And there you go. Uh, let me show you how to paint this now so that you get really clean edges with your lines. Now I'll show you how to paint it. The main thing I wanted to point out by trying to show you on my iPad what, uh, like how to paint, um, the main takeaway from this is it's best to put the colors down first and then draw the outline at the end uh, because that will cover up any um, weird edges and things like that. It's going to give you a really crisp, clean look to it, more of a cartoony look, really, uh, especially for things like this with uh, Pusheen. And um, if you're going to copy other things that have like a cartoony, uh, really nice, clean line on the outside, uh, you're going to want to do the colors first and then do the outline. Uh, Emma asked me to pick up some paint markers for her, and that's really the way to go. But yeah, this turned out really cool. I was really excited about it, and um, I didn't want to take a lot of extra time explaining it, but there's nothing wrong with copying, by the way. I, that's the last thing I wanted to say. Uh, copy away. Uh, you know, you learn actually by copying other people. Uh, always give other people credit if you do copy their artwork. Uh, it kind of helps you figure out how to do your own. I mean, I've learned a lot about making like cute kawaii faces and things like that from copying other people, uh, looking at other pictures, using them as reference. I've used it to kind of help create my own. Um, Emma wanted to make an ice cream cat, and I didn't realize she had this specific picture in mind, and I was drawing a a cat with an ice cream cone on its head. I didn't look at anything when I was drawing it, uh, but I had certain pictures in mind. I remembered recently there was a 
uh, video that I had watched of a girl that was painting uh, cats uh, in like ice cream. I'm going to put her name up really quick and I'll probably put a little bit of a video snippet up there because she was so good. I loved it. And she did some great faces and things and they're just adorable. Um, but yeah, go ahead and copy. Like I said, as long as if you're going to post it somewhere or say, hey, look at this awesome picture I did, as long as you say, yeah, it was uh, this was originally done by so and so. No, there's nothing wrong with it. Making copies. Making copies. It's all good. Hope you guys had fun today and enjoyed watching uh, how I how you can uh, transfer a picture over to a canvas or some other kind of uh, painting surface. And, you know, have fun with it. Hope to see you again soon. Take care. All right. Be good to each other. Be good to yourselves. Bye bye.